Hey, what's going on, beautiful people? I am Wes the Critic here on Wes the Critic's YouTube channel, the one place on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And I'm here to discuss some film news. Okay, usually I do reviews, but I'm trying to rebrand this channel to be something specifically geared toward all film reviews, anime reviews, show reviews, and film news, right? trying to branch off and do different things, okay? But I wanna talk about something that really, really touched me here, you know? It touched me here. I don't know if you know, but I'ma tell you, okay? Matter of fact, before I get into the news, do me a solid. Hit that like button on this video. Let's get this video to 50 likes, 50 likes, okay? And uh, follow me on all my social media, Instagram and Twitter, at what's the critic, at what's the critic, at what's the critic, okay? Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm going to do a top 10 movies of 2021 video before the end of the year. And I'm waiting for Spider-Man. I'm waiting for, well, I'm not really waiting for The Matrix. Let's be honest. The Matrix doesn't really look that amazing. Story-wise, it doesn't look that amazing. But anyways, that's just my personal opinion. But there are a couple of films that are coming out still that I want to see before I do my list. Right now, my top three films of 2021 are Shang-Chi, Quiet Place 2, and My Hero Academia, the anime movie. I know, right? Anyways, that leads me into this particular bit of news, right? Dustin Daniel Cretton has been confirmed to, not only, not only has he been confirmed to do part two of Shang-Chi, but Shang-Chi in itself has been confirmed for a sequel. Obviously, we need a sequel of Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi is damn near the best MCU film to date, out of all 23 million of them, okay? Shang-Chi is in that top three, along with Black Panther 2. And to be honest, here are my top three films. You didn't ask, but I'ma tell you. My top three films from the MCU are Black Panther, are Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi, whatever Chi, and Captain America, Winter Soldier. Those are my top three MCU films. And rounding that up, if you wanna do the top five, we'd put Endgame in there, and we will put the original Avengers film in there. But that's my pick. So yeah, Shang-Chi is in the top three. So finding out that a sequel is coming, I am super stoked for that. Uh, Shang-Chi was an amazing film. Dang near perfect to be exact. But let's get into this bit of news. Considering that Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings was met with a lot of positive critical reception and has collected nearly 432 million worldwide making it the eighth highest grossing movie of 2021 needless to say it makes sense that marvel studios is not only moving forward with shang chi 2 but having destin daniel cretton create his own disney plus series what is that going to be about what is it going to be about i don't know <laughs> Everybody wants the sister to be involved, but to be honest, we could do so many different things. We really could. I don't really care about what she's doing with the, you know, the headquarters taking over for her father. That's me. There's so many different stories that could be told, but I'm just stoked that Destin Daniel Cretton has been, has the ability, or has been given the ability to sign this multi-year, you know, film contract to give us some more content, some more quality, hard-hitting content. And that's the biggest thing about Shang-Chi. It was quality, story was there, action was there. I didn't feel like I was watching anything done in front of a green screen. It just, it was amazing, amazing. The spectacular film that Shang-Chi was. I would hope and pray that moving forward that Marvel would only hire directors that could accomplish what Dustin Daniel Cretton could, what the Russo brothers can accomplish, and what Ryan Coogler can accomplish. Those are the, and Taika Waititi is, is pretty good too, but to be honest, those are the top three filmmaking forces for the MCU right now. The Russo brothers, Dustin Daniel Cretton, and Ryan Coogler. I'm not a fan of like the big comedy that Taika Waititi has brought to Thor, but I know a lot of you are. I think that Thor Ragnarok was a solid film as far as how it was made, but I wasn't a fan of all the jokes. I'm not, I, give me serious undertones in my Marvel movies. That's what I like. 
Anyways, what do you guys think of this particular news? I am completely thrilled. There's nothing else that I really can say about it. Dustin Daniel Cretton is bringing, has brought us a new level of filmmaking in the MCU. I've said it and that's how I feel about it, okay? Sound off in the comments and let me know how you feel about it. Are you ecstatic that we're getting the Shang-Chi sequel? Are you ecstatic that we're getting a Disney Plus series by Dustin Daniel Cretton? Are you looking forward to it? I mean, I don't have Hulu and you know, he's doing something with Hulu. I have way too many online streaming platforms that I pay for, Hulu is not one that I'm looking to pay for. I'm down for Disney Plus, and that's about it. Sign off in the comments, let me know how you feel about it. And outside of that, I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Deuces.